down and stand on the dipping rock where my family fishes. I'm standing in the footprint of my ancestors, ancestors, and the great grandfathers. It's worn into the rock. That's how deep the relationship is with salmon and First Nations, the people that live in the canyon. A hundred years ago, in 1913, there was a massive rock slide in the canyon wall right behind us that blocked uh, much of the salmon passage to, uh, to much of the Fraser River system. That rock slide and a larger one in 1914 began a hundred years of lots of things. Of disagreement, cooperation, fights, resolution, among thousands of people who have worked to get millions of fish around the blockage here at Hell's Gate and spawning through the watershed just as nature first intended. We are really looking at what was a catastrophic incident that could have decimated the salmon that turned into really a partnership that will see us into the long-term future. That partnership is between the U.S. government, the Canadian government, it's a partnership with First Nations, it's a partnership with the engineers who designed the incredible runs that we see here today. This is really the perfect opportunity to commemorate a century of cooperation between Canada and the United States and preserving and protecting this remarkable species of sockeye salmon. And I'm particularly delighted that we had representation from First Nations and from the U.S. tribes because they are important partners in this ecological and environmental effort.